Man, Jason Whitlock, man. Whitlock is cooking with this tweet, man. In regards to WNBA expansion, he says, this is a mistake. Expanding too fast. There aren't enough elite level women's basketball players to fill the rotations of the current 12 teams. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Kaboom! God, don't. Yo, if that ain't a, yo, that is the truth. 12 man rosters, unlike 15 on the NBA side, 12 teams, 144 players, and you still. Even on the Indiana Fever, you look and you're like, a team we see all the time. And you're like, wow, okay. Once you get down to, like, Melissa Smith, it starts getting shaky. Then Katie Lou, and, and then it's really not Christy Wall, Eric. Yo, these teams do not have enough players, man. In the college ranks, is not going to produce enough players. And here's the thing, too, that the WNBA does before I get to the rest of this tweet. They ice rookies out. You got a bunch of old broads, man. There needs to be a memo sent around to the league. I mean, to the, to the teams from the league. Let these young girls play. Rakia should be getting 20 shots a game, just like they did with Angel Reese in Chicago. They should have done that with Rakia Jackson in um, L.A. You got these old broads just, and I get it. Trust me, I get it. The league has been a dumpster fire for 28 years, and it finally gets some shine. Okay, this is their year. Okay, fine. We don't want to cast you to the side when we finally get some shine. But next year? When Paige um, and whoever else is coming in, come in, they need to be featured heavily. None of this sitting behind some veteran stuff, man. None of the stuff they tried to do to Caitlyn earlier this year. Paige needs to be getting 20 shots a night. You, if you're going to add teams, you have to have stars because you don't have enough players to have a competitive product with your 12 teams. So you need stars featured heavily. And the league, it's like, they just don't get that, man. You got to feature these young stars heavily. When Malaysia and uh, Flower J come in, they need to be shooting 20 times a game, handling the ball all game. That's what needs to happen because you don't have enough players to make a whole team. You're going to get a few stars out the college ranks every year. And when I say stars, I'm not talking about stars like Caitlin. I'm talking about basketball stars, score on court stars. So they did, they added two teams once Caitlin joined the league because of the boost that she gave them in revenue, which they'll never admit. He goes on to say, spreading the talent around to three more is just going to expose more bad play. They're drunk on the success Caitlin brought. They'll never say that. They'll never attribute this to Caitlin Clark, but we all know it. So it's at some time point, you know, you, you, ain't, I ain't fussing with them about that. We know that it's because of Caitlin Clark. So they add the 15 franchise to Portland which I think is absolutely the worst mistake that they've made. Well, well not the worst mistake. Uh, this is, a, it's like a dominoes. It's like we, they got a domino of mistakes. Olympics, schedule, everything. Uh, 
physicality, everything's a mistake. You have to, under no certain terms, bring back the Houston Comets. And it's not just the fact that Houston is about to pass Chicago as the third largest city in the United States. Okay? And you got a team in New York and you have a team in L.A. And you have a team in Chicago. But you don't have a team in the what now is the fourth and about to be the third largest city in the country. And <laughs> like you just you just can't have that, man. That's not even the biggest thing. The biggest thing is that the Yankees, baseball has the Yankees, its flagship team. All every every sport, every league has its flagship team, the team of its of its history. I mean, when you're thinking about Baseball, you think about the Yankees. When you think about basketball, you think about the Boston Celtics. When you think about football, it's the Green Bay Packers or the Pittsburgh Steelers, those early dynasties, your dynastic teams. The WNBA is the only league that doesn't have its dynastic team. And they always talking about history. You need to be educated about the history of the league. Well, when we were actually watching, when the league first was born, when we actually had eyeballs, all the records, Caitlin Clark hasn't even broken those records. Every record she breaks is like the biggest game, pop, biggest um, gate, biggest rating since 2003 or since, since 2000. And... She still hasn't broken the records that these women put up when the league was at its highest point. That Those teams, we watch those teams. We remember these teams. And they're gone. How do you not have... It would be like MLB not having the Yankees. It would be like... <laughs> no Packers in the NFL. No Celtics, no Lakers in the NBA. This is your dynastic team. This is the team that everybody, when they actually did watch the league before Caitlin got here, fell in love with. They won the first four championships in your league's history. How can you not have a team in Houston and put one in Portland? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? You have to bring back the Comets. It's imperative. You have to do it. For the two reasons I said. And then... You must, if you don't do anything else, put a team in Florida, okay? You have to have a team in Florida. I mean, every major sports league has three or four teams in Florida. Pick a city. You could put a team in Gainesville or Tallahassee. It doesn't even have to be Miami. You have to tap into the Florida market. How is this league not tapped into the Florida market? Listen, I had no problem with you going to the Bay trying to, you know, siphon off of some of the success that the Golden State NBA team had. That was very smart. I had no problem with you going to Canada, trying to have a team in Canada because that market, I had no problem with those. Those two were fine with me. 
But now you're adding another team when you can't even when 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 that was that expansion was pretty fast for me. But fine, I was like, cool, all right, fine, leave it there. But now you're adding more teams, and you're not putting one in Houston. You're not bringing back your your historical dynasty and the third most populous city in the country, and you're not putting a team in Florida. Yo, this league, Kathy Engelbert, man, um, I kind of defended you when the sisters was going at you this past week trying to call for your head over the bogus little thing you said on CNBC, uh, which I think you answered that question really good. But the sisters didn't like it. This is a fireable offense. To be adding teams to a league that can barely support 12 and you're not putting them in Houston or Florida, you're putting them in Portland. You've got to be kidding me, Kathy and Gilbert. And now I don't even think, so you're probably going to have to get around number 16, right? So you're probably going to only be able to get a team in Florida, you're gonna to have to one of these. The, you got 15 now if you add Portland, so 16 has to be either Florida or Houston, right? Right, Kathy. So then the only way you'll get a team, another another team in the market of these two that you don't get with this, with the 16th um ex, expansion team, a team will have to fold or a team will have to move to one of these places. But this is a, this is a, um, an existing team will have to move to one of these places. This is a huge, huge miss by the WNBA to not put the, to expand too fast, which is, I think is the big mistake. But fine, you did it. And you didn't put the team in Florida or Houston. Because if you put a team in Portland, you're going to have a little shoebox arena. You're going to be bragging about sellouts. Yeah, we sell out every night. Yeah, 8,000 or 4,000 seat arena. You put a team in Florida or a team in Houston, you can sell out a regular arena if you play it right. Or you can recreate what New York has. You can recreate what Chicago has. Whereas if you get the right team or the right stars, you can get put up good numbers. Portland, you're gonna have to have a you're gonna have to be like the, the Mystics and have a four thousand seat arena. Or Connecticut, a four thousand seat arena. What are they thinking? To not have a team in Florida. The, the NFL has what? Jacksonville, Tampa Bay, Miami. The NFL has, I mean, the NBA has Orlando, Miami. Baseball has the Marlins, the, the Rays. The champion in hockey, hockey's champion came from Florida. The, the, the Stanley Cup champion came from Florida this past year. And the previous years, a couple of years ago, it came from Florida too, the Tampa Bay Lightning. You don't have a team in Florida. Wow. Get in the comment section, hit the like button. Peace. I'm out of here.